what I'm seeing in my office, Badish, um, I used to see a lot of people who really just wanted their misery to end. I, and I understand that, but there wasn't a lot of hope behind that. It's like, please, just make the pain stop. Yes. And I still do get that. But I'm seeing more and more people who are saying, I am done with some stuff and I need to move on. I don't know what's driving me, but I need to purge or I need to heal. They're ready to, yes. to, to jump in mm -hmm. and do what they need mm -hmm. to do to make it happen. I, I think the commitment comes in. Yes. In some way, they can't seem to put their finger on it. And all of a sudden, they wake up one day and say, I'm ready to do this. Yes. And they show up. Absolutely. And so for those people that are vibrating at a level where they want more joy, they don't just want the same old, same old stuff they've always had. They are having leaps and bounds of progress. It's fun. It's really fun to watch. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, can you tell me about the grounding yes. aspect of this? Mm -hmm. So many of our world religions talk about light. And really, this is about grounding to light. And I think that people use a lot of different language to describe yes. exactly what I'm going to be talking yes, about. Yes, they do. So the resonance therapy description is basically we have built into our physiology and our spirituality and probably our emotionality the ability to correct directly, connect directly to source, to that center of cosmos. Hello. I know it. <laughs> it's beautiful. And when we do, we ultimately have infinite resources to available to us. It's really quite lovely and it changes your perspective about what you want and need. It changes your perspective on breathing uh, in and out and it's like being, um, I would describe it like being a beautiful tree that has mm -hmm. these deep roots connecting with the earth but all these arms reaching up yes. to the sky and um, communicating with a system that's under the ground, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which would be the electrical system. Yes. And a biochemical system. And We're very much like a tree, aren't we? I think so. Yeah. The other part of grounding that we really pay attention to is the out to ground, and that is our connection to the cosmic center of the core of our Earth that great magnetic piece that keeps us on this planet and feeds us with Mother Earth wisdom. So when you have that connection coming in, moving through you, coming down into the earth and coming back up, it's really a lovely flow. And I think that that might be the flow that people want to get into because it's a great way for your guidance system, your body, to know good choice not you so know, hot choice you've just brought up a, a very interesting aspect to to grounding and meditation and visualization and all of that mm -hmm. um, and, and again this is my own experience and my own understanding but the electromagnetic fields of the earth are changing and, and yes. fluctuating and the more we stabilize ourselves out in a grounded way mm -hmm we are then preparing our body for a higher current. As an example, I sold my home, mm -hmm. moved into a new environment, and that new environment has a lake behind the property, and I was sitting out on my deck, looking out on the sky. Incidentally, every night I see the Big Dipper. Nice. A little sign from the heavens. And I realized that I was in such a new frequency. Mm -hmm and how it was affecting me psychically, how it was affecting me physically. I mean, it sh had shifted to such a degree that I was in such joy yes. discovering that I had new feelings in my body mm. about waking up every day and smelling the different fragrances and watching hummingbirds in my mm. plants. I mean, there's something so basic and yet, and I thought I had it living in the forest, but all of a sudden now I'm living in a park and all of the other experiences. And I think it's when I'm really grounded that it's this perception and this deeper understanding of gratitude. Yes. And then joy. Yes. And then for me, creativity yes. that starts pouring out of me. 
So uh, it's a state of mind. Absolutely. State and of being. mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we're from the same tribe. You know that. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think so. <laughs> I think so. A too. spiritual tribe, anyway. Indeed. Okay. So, one of the questions I was going to ask is how does uh, resident therapy differ from traditional Western intervention? And you know what? We're not going to go there because I just think that it's self explanatory for yes. those very intelligent people out there that are listening to create your own reality. Yes. I think they've figured it out. Um, what do you, uh, what do people report to you after they've had this experience with this type of therapy and the grounding? Mm -hmm. well, tell me some of the stories, a uh, few of them that. Have, they've come back and said, oh my God, you know, this is what's going on. Yes. Um, well, I think one of the most common experiences is people don't know they have grounding. And so I ask them to relax and I start describing it to them. Some people are visual, so I do a guided imagery. Yeah. Some people feel more. I use whatever sense they are most comfortable in to really describe what that connection might feel like. Right. And they really feel relief. You can see it. Absolutely. Yeah. And they report it. And they're saying things like, I had no idea that my lower back was tense. And here we have grounded and opened all this space for resource and connection to come through. And so there's this immense relief, which is usually followed by gratitude. I have had some people who have been longing for this connection so much and so deeply. Oh, it's that, so wonderful. Yes, it is. And they're sobbing because all of a sudden they know something differently. They've, they've missed something yes. that they thought they lost or would never have. Mm -hmm. And in coming home to themselves, they've rediscovered something that was always theirs yes. to have. Absolutely. Yeah. And a big part of the grounding and resonance therapy is also making sure not only are you earth and cosmically connected to the light, not to other things, <laughs> because we can do that too, the light, but also then really connecting the crown of your head to that higher self, that voice you were talking about earlier that is always truthful and always wants our best. We call that in resonance therapy the deepest, highest good because that is what that piece of us wants. It's been depicted in art all different kinds of ways, usually a halo. Um, exactly. I've, I've seen beautiful um, mandalas above people's head. Yeah. That right there is the most frequently disconnected piece between clients that see me frequently or come in wanting to progress and clients that don't. Clients who are really prepared for change are already somewhat connected to that self. Clients that don't know what they're doing there, they're not quite ready, but they want it still, have a much smaller connection. And when we broaden that, it's like turning on the lights. I think for some, there's so much that's, um, you talk about disconnects. I think there's so many distractions mm -hmm. that it takes an intention and a focused mind in order to accomplish the faster track to the kind of grounding that you're talking yes. about. You know, when we get into, a, we have a routine, mm -hmm. and I noticed uh, that you'll find this amusing. <laughs> I, in the move, um, I'm, I'm busily putting things away, unpacking boxes, and a friend of mine said, how did you get through this whole thing and not end up going to a chiropractor? Because hmm. I got some stairs. I mean, it's a whole new experience. And I made up my mind that I was going to be connecting with my body. Yes. And, and, um, and in the down times where I was sitting out um, and relaxing, you know, I would be doing my little tune-up and the other day I did something out of character and I took a nap which I don't do in the middle of the afternoon and I laid down and I cannot tell you how tight I would how coiled and mm. tight my body felt that I'd never felt that ever before it scared me mm. Because all of a sudden I felt like I was I could move into a prenatal position and it was just because I hadn't been breathing deep enough and it was moving too fast mm -hmm. and I had too much on my mind and 
when I took the nap, I had time to sort it. Yes. I had time to think about it. But the stunning thing was is the imagery of how I was able to explain to myself what I was feeling and what I was seeing. And I just saw this huge coil. Mm. And I think when we can get into using symbology and imagery and expand that language of spirit, mm -hmm. it really can move pretty fast. Absolutely. More choices. Yes, and that is why in resonance therapy we connect to that intentionally because then the deeper, longer lasting healing occurs. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about that disconnect that, or sometimes it's clouded or busy or chaotic and it's not disconnected, it's just befuddled. Um, I cannot tell you how many times with a client I've been working on connecting to that deepest, highest good and sometimes removing a hook or something energetic pull that another person has on it. Yes. And we will remove it, always taking care that that other person is not basically psychically bleeding. <laughs> you know, we're, we're sealing or connecting to source. But how many times we've just finished and the person is saying, oh, I feel so much better. And their phone will ring and it's the person we have yes. just connected yes. or disconnected. Yes. And I'm like, oh. Well, <laughs> don't let them reconnect. You know, they're like fine fibers yes. energetically, fiber optics. Yes. Energetically, and we're all connected on levels that we can't even imagine. And, mm -hmm. and the more you study about uh, quantum physics, the more you're just in a state of, of, of um, amazement as to how much we are connected to on the grid. Mm -hmm. We can think of somebody and we can have them call. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course a lot of people have experienced that. But we can also he be doing a healing for someone. Um, a lot of young girls are having a hard time carrying a baby. Mm. And they call me on the phone and say, will you hold me in a prayer? Mm. And, and I do a special kind of healing work around that and I go with the photograph I go to that person and operate on actually the, holding the energy and mm -hmm. the light on the fetus mm -hmm. while I'm teaching the mother to talk to the unborn child already mm. you know yeah so there's so much that's available to us to do and we're not doing it alone we have we have a, a sense of presence that's really around us that's assisting assisting us mm -hmm. bringing us the thought bringing us the the creativity I think it's good to have the training and structures and things but what I heard you said earlier is that you made it your own yes and that's the fun yes because that's when your soul your spirit has this intimate relationship on the grid so to speak mm -hmm. with how to use this creativity and for its highest highest good yes one thing I am really aware of and thank you for your work by the way that is remarkable you're that you're able to give light like that it's really important I'm excited about uh, being able to move my body into a space to be working with people who are having serious health health problems yeah one thing for me as a therapist that I have been trained both in Western approach and in resonance therapy is that this is not about me. And so, totally about them. Yeah, absolutely. And so when I get invested in somebody listening to what I'm saying or doing it my way or really I want them to move faster frequently than they're ready, that is an indicator to me that I need to ask my ego to go right outside the door and wait patiently. I'll yes, be back exactly. and reconnect because source is where the finest, most delicate and deepest truth comes from. And when we can plug into that, both as client and as therapist or as friends or colleagues or people in the grocery store running into each other. It's unlimited. It is. And it's healing.